we're at the bins. Oh, it's hot. I'm slathered, slathered in deodorant, so I'm not the stinky one at the bins, but I wanted to show you this car. Oh, you can't really see it, but it's like completely bedazzled. I have never seen anything like that before. It's like they hand did it. Crazy. Okay, so it is late afternoon, so people are starting to leave, but there are still like two to three hours left of good bins rotations. But before we get to that, if you could consider giving this video a thumbs up, I'm telling you at the beginning instead of the end, so some of you who are here right now will kind of maybe be nice and give me a little woo -woo. Anyways, if you could do that. Also, if you would like to consider subscribing, there we go. It is free and it helps and 80% of you who watch the videos are not subscribed. So if that's something you like to do, amazing. Um, as well as I post or I have been starting to repost on my Instagram and I put the what sold out there. So if you want to go to Hello Handbags YT um, on Instagram, you will see some what solds and just some random shenanigans in general out there. So that's where you find me for what's sold. Okay, let's go in, find some business at the bins today. All right, I am straight to the back. I did put a few clothings in just because the bins are right there when you walk in. So it's hard to just kind of ignore them in general, but They're putting out ow, a new bunch of clothing bins, about 15 to 20 clothing bins. Thought it was a bone. are a lot of shoe bins. Family, 1984. So prepare your eye holes for some shoe bins. Look at this tiny guy. Super tiny.
2018. Alright, I'm just gonna park my cart here. Because the other side has a bunch of carts, so I'm just gonna leave it there. Turner Manufacturer Chicago Heaven's Gift. It has like moth holes. I love the frame. Precious Awake. They're a little sad panda. Looks like it's from like Ross. Oh, I kind of like that. Put that in my booth. Kind of a nice Adidas sweater. Donna Rico, size 12. That's a cute dress. We got a bowl. I don't think there's any chips or anything. Okay. Let's go through this side. Look at those suckers. Speed limit 
the last time I was here, I found all those funky video games in the book, or in a book bin. So now I feel like I gotta look at the book bin a little better. She's struggling. Air 7. Shoot up Doc Martens. That's kind of cool. Have a lot of soft at the moment. It's like someone's picture that they blew up. Blew up and put in a frame. missing oh maybe a tree <laughs> toilet paper huh, that's cute Little dental horse bins they're doing next. They haven't started switching the next bins yet. That's a cute little jewelry box to send jewelry in. Oh, that's nice too. Thermoguard Wilson's Tour. This is large and in charge. Jeez. Should I look this up? 
seems like it's maybe good. I don't really want to get that massive of a bag, but if it's selling for at least 50, maybe I do. Ooh, these are nice. I had one of these when I had a desk job. Okay, these go to something. What is a mystery at the moment? and jury books if I were going. Nineteen thirty six. I might look about one up. Young Folks Shelf of Books, Stories of Wonder and Magic, Fighting Sail, Time Life Books. Waters. Oh, here's another one. The Pirates. These are kind of nice books, actually. Oh, I'm sweaty. I have enough sewing patterns. I'm in the process of clearing out my storage unit because the price of it went up insanity that it's just not worth it. It's a good write-off, but other than that, I'm just gonna try to condense it down. So I have a lot of sewing patterns in there. I need to get to posting my face off. Post, post, post. And wash. Some vintage wrapping paper. Oh, look at him. Chantilly Lane. Something smells pretty terrible. Wild pear. Oh, what are these red crazies? Hmm. A mystery.
gosh. It's peeling right off. I don't know if I'm going to get these. But they look like a decent size and I'm pretty sure the brand is decent. I can't remember. I think I have some posted or sold. So I have to look a bit more into the brand. It's Airtrex or Atrex. Taking those. So we're gonna be putting out new ones there. Um, I'm gonna look up a few of these things I've thrown in here, put back what I don't like or want, or put on the webs to sell, throw it back, and then I'll be back. Okay, I've kept pretty much everything so far. I've got some tables. That big one is still here. It looks like someone broke the leg on it, though. A massive dresser for 20 Ooh, I bet that's worth something. $15 for a electronic... Oh, it's just random. A tire? It's like mini fridges. This is probably worth something. An industrial tea. Definitely needs to be cleaned. A few fridges, a skincare fridge. Whew, interesting. Let's look at some chairs. This one is 20. It's actually in pretty good shape. It's a matching one too. These are five each. They look like conference room chairs. Five each on those. Okay, let us continue with more shoes. Because there is obviously a ton of shoes today. These look to be pretty decent. Um, anywhere from 40 to 50, depending on how many rackets you can fit. But, I don't know. It doesn't weigh a ton. It's just like big circumference wise. For delicious. Trying to sell these for fifteen a dollar on these. They look like Naughty Monkey. Maybe Maurice's. Pop. Keen. That's an interesting looking keen. Just needs a little cleanup. Oh, here's the other one. Oh, the inside. What is happening? I don't really know.
Converse. Monroe and Maine. Heavy duty. Donald Pliner. I feel Donald Pliner is hitting this. These are falling apart. A faux Sorrel. Maybe Walmart. Tom's. Sperry. Bear traps. Some hokas. Oof. Well, well used hokas. Which, good for them getting their money's worth. A lot of duds, it looks like. Or else it's just heavily picked through. That's probably what it is. Or they're just all duds. I mean, it definitely could be that. J Sport. Those are kind of fun. I do already have a pair of purple Converse that I need to post. Okay, I think I'm gonna go look through a few clothes and then I'm gonna catch the new bins when they come out. So I will do that and be back to show you the new new. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I added some clothing. Let's go look at the new hard good bins.
Case. Oh, for your lantern. Misty. I'm gonna look this brand up. It is Bruno Cav Cavalli, Bruno Cavalli, and I'm gonna throw that back because I don't want it. But it's in very good shape, so if it's decent, I'm gonna get it. So I'm gonna look that up, and I will be back. Okay, the backpack was boo. It was a big boo. Uh, but I'm going to go through some of the hard good bins I haven't been through yet. They put out, oh my gosh, this is cute. Um, they just put out about 15 to 20 new clothing bins. Are you applause made in Korea? Very cute. Password, what's this? Mystery. An Avengers Build a Bear. Let's look into him. Please look after this bear. Ooh, it's a very vintage Paddington. He's the Christmas version, maybe? Or just the nighttime. Oh, happy holidays. Got a section of bears.
here and then I'll get the other side of that other bin I was just at D blossoms oh they're super stretched out This is signed, but it's very hard to tell what it is signed. I might be able to have done a Google lens on it. Fun. Decor. What is this? The brand is Batot. I feel like I know that. It needs a very good wipe down. I'll see about that. I have sold this as well. wasn't like exceptional so I'm gonna leave that one this is a cute Care Bear it's a new one 2020 what is this what is happening it's like having a pampered chef just kind of doing a little scan okay let's get this side and then i have to 
flip around to the other side of this. Cooking for American homemakers. That is cool. 1964. I love these as like display books. This one's a little hefty, but they can be very fun for decor. Unless you just feel like making some like jello celery pudding. Then I'm sure the book would help you out with that. are Walmart. It's a decent, I mean, it's not the best looking Clark, but it's in good shape. Kind of cute too. Size are they seven and a half? Mm, I kind of like these for myself, maybe. Oh, here's the other one. Hmm, do I want them? Oh, here's the other Clark. They're really clean. We'll see about those. Also, these are just Bandolino, but I like the look of them. They're also very clean. These are supposed, are like giving the look of brothies, even the blue thing on the back. Ooh, a parasol. Mm, it's a plain one. It's ready to be painted. This side. I don't think I got this side. Did I? No. Broken Polly Pocket. Two broken Polly Pockets. They are new though. Oh, the 
This is a cute one. What is happening? Oh, I don't need any more sewing boxes right now. Even though I want all the sewing boxes. Keyboard for 2018 iPad Pro. Good lord, this thing's heavy. Oh my gosh, it's like the coming to America bear. The ash something. There's a sticker on it, but we'll see about him. Oh, he's looking pretty cute. Kind of, oh, is it a diaper? <laughs> I don't know what this is, but it says his name on it. His nose is bright pink. That's really cute. Okay, I'm gonna look up a few things and then I'm going to go look at the new clothing bins and they're gonna be rotating a row of hard good bins here pretty soon, but I'm gonna look up a few things and I'll be back. I am going to do a little overview. They're putting out about 10 more hard good bins, but they just started, so I figured I'll do an overview and then if they look exceptional, I'll jump in or else I'll just put in footage before this. So you won't really know, but now you know. Anyways, let's get started and let me show you what I found today it is a Friday and it is not too busy here actually. It is very manageable, but I'm also at the end end of the day. It's almost five and they close at seven and they stop rotating at six. So that's probably why it's quiet to be honest, but we still found some great stuff. This was the time I used to come all the time when I was working full time because it was the only time slot that I could get in here and I still found great things. So. Don't let the time of day stop you. They're always putting new stuff out. Okay, first, a book. Um, they got some kind of prize. The Earl of Ch Kafam, 19, or sorry, 1880. Anecdote Lives by John Timms, London. Anyways, it still has its gold gilding on it. And it is definitely a high quality book, you can tell. I don't know what exactly that is, but we're going to get it. Uh, hardcover books are 279 so we're, that's our hardcover book for the day. Okay, we have an unfinished quilt. I was contemplating even getting it, but they did put a ton of work into it. Um, it's not the biggest quilt, but people do buy unfinished quilts. So, and they're pretty light comparatively. Um, so I think I'm going to get this one. It's almost like a mauve color and then blues and maroons, but getting that. Okay, I don't think I'm getting these just because they have some heel wear, heel rub. You can kind of see there, but they are very interesting looking Keens. I've never really seen a pair of Keens quite like this before, but I think because of the heel rub, I'm going, and people will still buy them, like if they have flaws, but... I'm getting more and more picky in my 
picking days. Okay, this I think I'm going to put in my booth. It's just a pine cone. Looks like a pressed glass green bowl. I think that would go well in my booth. So I think I'm going to get that. And then I'm not sure if I'm going to put this in my booth, but it is a nesting set of little trinket boxes. And there is three of them. But I thought these were cool. They were obviously strewn all over the bins. They weren't in a nice little package like this, but um, I really like that. Next we have a shirt. It is a pearl snap, red pearl snap. And it is Mondiki Square Dance. So Square Dance clothing can do pretty good. Um, if you go out there and look at vintage Square Dance dresses and stuff, oh my gosh, they're amazing. But you can sell them for a good amount of money. So Square Dance stuff is definitely a good pickup. Uh, we have this woven vintage wood top handle bag from Lantern Moon. It's a little dirty in the bottom. It looks like they were, someone was selling it at maybe their booth vintage air for $28 but it's a very cool vintage bag in relatively good shape actually besides that little bit of dirtiness in the bottom okay we got that we have a laurel birch horse bag a pretty decent sized horse tote this one's also in pretty decent shape and it has a little charmer thingy big charm palm on it i don't know if this came with it or if someone put it on there but it's on there so it's staying on there okay this is a very fun i think i could be wrong i mean so here's what i'm thinking i'm thinking table runner but then i was thinking is it part of a Japanese no I don't think so well, yeah I was thinking is it part of a Japanese like um outfit like a kimono I don't know it was giving me those types of of vibes that maybe it belongs on some sort of costume <clears throat> but it is amazing looking very very intricately done yeah i kind of have a feeling it might i don't know i'll look into it i'm still gonna get it even though i don't know what it is but it is very pretty okay next we have a kipling backpack this is in pretty good shape there's a little interior wear but overall it's in pretty nice shape it does not have monkey no monkey on that one <clears throat> we have a levi's jean jacket and a dark wash it looks like there's a little something there but other than that it feels like it hasn't really even been worn it still has like that stiff feel i mean not stiff but stiffer than normal oh it looks like they dipped their arm in something too but anyways it's a pretty nice trucker jacket needs a little help but don't we all don't we all okay next people aren't fans but lularoe size large i love their jeans their jeans are amazing but it is a jean jacket but it has these unicorn decals on the back and i just thought that was super unique i like the white buttons too actually so we got that. We have a Castaway Nantucket Island Extra Large. It's like a pretty heavy cotton. It's very um, nautical. Top in like a light orange and white. Cotton rayon. 
cotton rayon. That's all I got for you. Okay, we have a pair of Dana Buckman. Just kidding. Just kidding. Bandolino flats. Size nine and a half. I don't pick up a ton of Bandolino, but these are pretty cute. Goodwill's trying to sell them for $12.99, and it looks like they repriced them at one point because no one was buying them. And then they ended up here at the bins. Okay, we have a pair of Clarks. These ones aren't, like, the most appealing to the eye, but someone will want them. It looks like they repriced these two to $9.99. Uh, these are also in pretty good shape. And the size looks like it's a really decent size, if I can find what it is. It is a 10. I like a big size. Okay, next for shoes, we have a pair of Maine Woods boots. And I really like the metal on it and it has some metal on the tip of the toe i think they're leather it feels kind of like a faux leather they're a seven and a half in like a taupey brown color okay we have one plushie we're keeping from our whole plushie oh his diaper's attached okay um, I'll probably be putting him in my booth because I need more vintage toys, and so I think I'm going to put him in there, but he does, his, does well online uh, as well, around 20, 25-ish, so he's a winner, and I love how his schnoz is so bright pink. Okay, we have a no-name, but really fun vintage red shoe it needs a cleaning i'll have to figure out a size on it but very fun we have a pair of sandals by atrex these are size 11 good size on those a scarf from Fraz, F R A A S. It's more of like a square, square scarf in a black, black and other colors. Okay, we have a vintage t shirt and it is Country Western Night Cruisin' Corral. It is single stitch, but it is from Royal Caribbean. And it's a size extra large, made in Canada. There is a tiny bit of discoloration, but I thought the graphic was fun. So we got that. Oh, I need to look these up. I'm not sure on this brand. Fundamental Coast, Los Angeles, size 38. They're like a leisure pant? Capri? I don't know. They feel like they might be worth something. That's what my gut is telling me. Oh my gosh, look at this vintage kids shirt. Adorable. I think it's uh, no, it's Hot Tots, made in Indonesia, size 2T. It's just so cute. A tiny little pearl snap. Oh my gosh, I can't get over it. Okay, next we have a Pinocchio window CD-ROM game. Looks like it was being sold at um, Salvation Army for 10 no, this is downtown at the um, animal thrift store, Humane Society. Anyways, that goes for like 15 to 20. Okay, last, I think, yes, is this massive Wilson's ThermoGuard bag. It's like a backpack bag, and these look to go for around 40-ish, 40 to 50. 
it's large but it's not heavy so i don't think i'll pay like an exceptional exceptional amount for it it's just having to store something that's big is all so we'll see we shall see okay they put out a new row of bins people are really going ham they are fighting for their life over there so i might go see what there is to offer in the new new they're probably not switching over too many more they have two more hours so i would say they're probably switching maybe one or two more times and then they'll probably be done for the day so i got a late start in here today so this is what i found in my late start but thank you all for coming if you could give this video hello a thumbs up i would so 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 appreciate it, it helps so much and please stay cool out there it is hot bananas that's right who likes a hot banana? Nobody. I mean, well, there could be exceptions. But anyways, if you could give it a thumb up, I would so appreciate it. I post all my stuff on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And I will be back digging again very soon. All right. I'll see you later. Bye.